Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time we found this fancy hat in a chest after uh, a grateful Silas rewarded us for finding that ring. Oh no, no, that was the reward for finding the, uh... For finding all the scat beetles, actually. Along with an itchy looking, uh... Has that... Has that really been there this whole time? Uh, fucking A. Spring came, but no flowers grew. In the fields, the crops failed. The blooms, like Bryn's grave, smothered beneath the spider's webs. Mera watched quietly from the ridge, a thin straggle of hand carts and wagons heading out, away from Hamel, the fields of flame, the village an island in a golden sea. How was I described it the first time they got there? Yeah. Midst fields of flowers. I guess they had to burn the flowers to, uh... kill all the fucking spider hatchlings buried in the ground. Screw it, I'm putting it on anyway because it looks baller. Technically not a pimp hat, because he is not a pimp. <laughs> I'm up here. I have to see Gusto and Fatal about a few things, not least of, not least of which... I think it's the first time I've ever made it down here without being seen at least once. Oh, well, in that case. Oh, right. Oh, you're right there. Huh. I didn't even see him. God damn it, I'm out of run. That reminds me, actually, while we're here by the main gate, I'll just do this. Hmm. Did I already find it? Or hey, checkpoint pass. So these guys don't notice burned uh, tapestries if they haven't been there personally in, like, the last second. I'm gonna be really annoyed if I have to load that uh, game and redo a bunch of stuff because uh, that thing got glitched. Or one even earlier than that, even. Oh, no, it was the one I was sitting on. That's very funny. Very, very funny. Not a single ears item, though. Come on, what you waiting for? Go! Skit! Get out! Jeez. Rude. Tight. Let's see. 
Don't you look fancy? I think the hat's doing all the work. What are you telling me for? Oops. That's interesting. Waddle Daub's Manor House. God damn it. <laughs> He's a scrunt. But how did they catch you? Look at how big his eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> it was gold fever. Gold fever? They say it's a real condition. See, he understands. Or is it Vitale? If it rhymes with finale. No, I'm just confused. Okay. So who has the silver band? Beller Lar. He's good at his job. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the uh, diplomatic response. Since I feel like the answer is two. Oh. But I don't know any of these. Uh. Okay. So it's detective vision then. Wow, that is not helpful at all. I thought I saw like a glimmer through the wall at one point. But... Oh, oh, oh. oh! Of course, it's when he's making noise. Interesting. Finally, keen ears. <laughs> Why?
she's offended. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, the Lutkas. I'm not sure I trust any of you. Oop. Damn it. Perhaps I'm getting better at this. Too long. Too long is considered by many, including his peers and his own self, to be the greatest thief alive. Oh, that's right, the one you dress up as. Uh, tales of his daring and guile are near legendary, and with each telling his renown has only grown. But Too Long is neither hero nor villain. Mercurial and capricious, Too Long is a force of nature, impossible to predict. Just as likely to steal gold from the Baron and give it to the lowliest pauper as he is to then steal the wooden teeth from the pauper's mouth while he's being thanked for the gold. But his most famous deed is to many, also his most noble. It is said that Too Long once risked his own life to warn a small village of the approach, of the approach of marauding bandits, giving the mud farmers living there just time enough to flee. They returned to find their homes intact but ransacked, their valuables gone. <sighs> I see what they did there. Still, the villagers were grateful to have kept their heads and organized a banquet in Too Long's honor, proving that mud farmers are generous if often terribly naive. Wow. For anyone who didn't pick up on that, uh, there were no bandits. He just robbed them blind while everyone was out of the town. <laughs> you mean too long the thief? Is that so? Uh, I guess just all of them? Okay. Fatal demonstrates her special throwing technique. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I think I've read this. I mean, you're already wearing some, but okay. Pesa! The city of Pesa. It's rare for mice to journey far beyond the borders of the parish in which they were born, but every mouse on reaching adolescence must travel to the ancient city of Pesa and register their name and vocation with the regional authorities. Interesting. The journey to Pesa may be long and arduous, but the return home is a joyful occasion, for the mice can at last put aside the simple sackcloth headwear of their childhood and don the hood or hat of their given profession. Huh. I like that. It's a fun detail. I'm taller than he is, for God's sake! Wow, that is useful. I could probably just keep talking to them over and over again and uh, learn new skills. You know, I should probably just do that. Just get it done and over with. No, no, I guess not. Fine. Hi there! Oh, I forgot they could turn while they did that. Oh no, my, my run juice is low. Oh, interesting. I can sense him through the walls even though I'm not crouching. Oh. Man, you guys are a lot less scary to stealth from than, uh, Tommy ever was. No, interesting, no description. I guess it just does more damage or something? Uh, 
Where the fuck am I going? Does anybody know? Okay. Ahem. Okay. Talk with the guard who hangs out in the commissary at uh, night. If only I knew what that meant. So obviously I need to dress up as too long and introduce myself. I can't do that until I find this, which is a problem. No goddamn idea how to do that. Yeah, that was a problem. Right, right, to turn at night. That was a lever on the wall for a moment there. Jesus, I've already forgot what I'm trying to do. Uh... Stick. I don't need that. You know, I might as well just make it night and go talk to Fatal, since I'm in the area. And I healed a little. In fact... Boo. I wonder why it's not always the same amount. Is it like you will heal 50% of the damage you have currently taken so it can't ever bring you to full? Well, I can solve that problem fairly quickly. Wait for the scary music to go away with my eyes closed. That was fun. Yeah, nothing weird about that. Psst. Ahoy hoy. Uh. Interesting. Okay, no advice there. How are things? Alive. Well, that's good. I'm not going to bring up the other thing because uh, I want to do the other thing. I want to do the thing with a potion first. In this case, there's like a third thing I can skip to. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Huh. Interesting. South. Courtyard. That would be here. 
the place where there are no iron gates. There is, however, this. Interesting. So the jailer's body might be at the bottom of the well. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tail. When we, uh... Well, I don't quite know what we're gonna do, actually. I guess we're gonna try and figure out what a commissary is, and, uh... Whether I can find that dude in it. Later.